Yo, you gotta check out these real cyborg beetles that scientists can remotely control. Scientists at the University of Queensland just turned darkling beetles into remote controlled climbers by giving them literal tank controls and what they discovered is about to blow your mind. Here's the problem they were trying to solve. Traditional climbing robots are massive, slow, and require tons of energy to navigate obstacles. But beetles? They're natural born climbers that can scale vertical surfaces effortlessly. So they equip darkling beetles with these tiny 1.2 microchip backpacks containing circuit boards, electrodes, and RF transceivers for remote communication. One electrode gets implanted into each wing casing called an elytron. When they stimulate the left wing, the beetle turns right. Stimulate the right wing, it turns left. Stimulate both wings simultaneously, it goes straight forward, literally tank control. But there was a major problem. Past research showed these cyborg beetles could walk and even climb slopes, but when they hit vertical walls, researchers couldn't get them to transition from walking mode to climbing mode. The beetles would just walk into the wall and get stuck. Instead of using brute force and driving the beetles straight into the walls, the team discovered something brilliant. A perfectly timed electrical pulse to the far side wing casing at just the right moment causes the beetles to veer sideways, making its antenna contact the wall. This triggers the beetles' natural reflexes and it automatically begins to climb. The results? 92% success rate on low obstacles, 71% success rate on full vertical walls. By piggybacking on these biological systems, they eliminated all the complications of fully robotic climbers, which require complex planning, high energy input, and move at a fraction of the speed. These cyborg beetles are faster, more maneuverable, and way more efficient. The ultimate goal? Equipping these cyborg beetles with miniature cameras and deploying them in search and rescue operations. Imagine autonomous swarms navigating collapsed buildings, searching for survivors, and radiating back real-time footage to rescue teams. This could radically change emergency response times. While traditional robots struggle with complex terrain, these living machines move through debris like it's nothing. Sometimes the most advanced technology isn't about building something completely new. It's about upgrading what evolution already spent millions of years perfecting. The future is cyborg.